What's up everybody, Chris Jacobs here with another episode of Optima Battery's High Performance House Calls. Today we're heading out to Kentucky, Warsaw, Kentucky, to go see the guys at Sullivan Pulling. Donnie Sullivan and his dad Wayne are going to talk to me about the projects in their very cool garage. Let's give them a FaceTime, see what they're up to. Hey Chris, thanks for calling. Donnie, how you doing man? I'm doing great, doing great. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you too. Uh, so start out by telling me where you guys are and how you've been spending this time during quarantine. Well, we're here in our shop at Sullivan Pulling in Warsaw, Kentucky, and uh, we've got everything ready to go. We compete on the Lucas Oil Pro Pulling League with the Optima Batteries Kentuckian and uh, the Big Ed Red two-wheel drive. And uh, we had several events canceled, so we've just been double checking things and rebuilding motors and uh, we're all dressed up right now and not really any place to go to be honest. When was the last event that you competed in? We ran at the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky in February. It's now almost mid-June so you guys must be getting really antsy to get back out there on the track. Right yeah we're supposed to go here in, at the end of June out in Missouri to Mound City, Missouri with the with the two-wheel drive trucks. Uh, they don't have the big tractor out there, but it's it's going to be good to get to go somewhere. Is it looking like that event is going to be a go? Uh, as of yesterday, yes, sir. Uh, we're from what I can count, we're down to half a dozen hooks or so for the season. Wow, man, that's a shame. So take me through, because I'm I'm kind of a novice pulling fan. I don't know a whole lot about it, but what's what's the history of your involvement in the sport? I know it's a it's a generational thing for the Sullivan family. Yeah, we've been in pulling over 50 years. Uh, you know, we, uh, we've <laughs> pulled for a, quite a few years. I'll let my dad talk to you a little bit. He's Wayne Sullivan, uh, and he drives the Optima Batteries Kentuckian. Hey, Wayne. How you doing, man? Glad to meet you, Chris. Yes. Uh, Good to meet yes, you, uh, too. Uh, you talking about uh, the sport of pulling. Yeah, I've been, I started back in the early 70s with a, a single motor tractor. And it had about uh, 450, 500 horsepower. We, I just put a big block Chevy on a farm tractor frame and went out and pulled. But now this new, this new thing, this four engine, is about 10,000 horsepower. And uh, we spin our tires about 120 mile an hour. And uh, it is quite a ride. I've talked to some buddies that's drag racing and they say, 10, 000, these four motors is 10,000 horsepower. It's pretty close to a double A fuel dragster. Well, Wayne, I think the main difference, you know, you're talking about similar horsepower between your pulling truck and a uh, top fuel dragster is that the, the engines in the pulling are in front of you, whereas in a top fuel dragster, it's behind you. So you're really getting the full force of those engines. Yes, uh, you're right. I had one catch on fire, blew a head gases, and, uh, and my fire suit and uh, all my my equipment worked great and uh, yes it is it's uh it is that is a different part yeah we got four motors right in front of us and uh and uh, and the noise level is awful great i mean we have to wear earplugs and helmet and still i can't hear very good today but because i've been doing it so long <laughs> it's harkening back to the uh the old cackle car days of drag racing with those engines in front of you that's really uh that is definitely a man's man who gets in the pilot seat of that vehicle that's really cool so wayne take me back to the origins of sullivan pulling how did you get the idea to start participating my dad pulled farm tractors for years and so i knew about pulling and when they started letting the engines you know the modifieds run with different engines in them we had to build one with a V8 in it. And uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the great unique things about our tractor, we have four motors and I still run the same grill that I had in my first tractor, a 44 hours, and it's up front there. And that's about the only thing on this rig, it's a tractor. <laughs> it's, got tractor <laughs> it's got tractor tires on it, but they're made especially for pulling. You can't put a regular tractor tire on there because when you spin them that fast, they'll break down and so we got to have a special tire made just to stand the power and the speed and yeah and this year this past year was a great unique year i won the championship with lucas and and my grandson won a truck championship i don't know if anybody's ever did that one family win two championships uh, so uh 
that was a great, unique year for me and my whole family and my team. That's great. Well, hey, can you show me around the shop and some of the trucks and engines you're working on right now? Yeah, I'll let, let Donnie do it, and i just walk around and watch. Here he is. Thanks, Wayne. All right. All right, Chris, uh, there's the uh, tractor engines right there, the four. So what are you running there? Take me, take me through the specs of those four blocks. They're running Brad Anderson uh, billet blocks, and we run the Ken Vinny cylinder heads, and we run SSI superchargers and the MSD mags. If you look at the sport of multi-engine tractors, they're all set up different. Uh, like we got two, all four of our injector hats are facing forward. But if you notice, these back two engines are running reverse because oh, yeah. we, wow. uh, our gearbox is in the middle of the tractor here. Each, each engine has its own clutch and it goes into this gearbox and then it goes back to the rear end. And uh, we don't have a transmission just like a top fuel dragster. You know, it's whatever gear we got the rear end in at that time. Yeah. It's gas and go. I see your Optima battery there in front of uh, one of the rear wheels. Do you run one battery for the entire vehicle? Actually, we run one battery to, to run our computer and so forth, but the we have to have four batteries to start it on our UTV and our pit vehicle. So you start, you actually start it, start the truck off the pit vehicle, and then once it's running, then the, the, there's no battery on it. Right, the yes, and uh, the, the driver's compartment's back here, and we got a data acquisition s system to tell us what it's doing. And then, uh, you know, if you see the, the drive line comes right back here into all, the only, we have a reverser, you know, in and out box basically to, to go forward or backwards. And, and what's amazing too is, is that you actually get all four of those engines off the ground. I mean, there's so much torque in those rear wheels that those, all four of those blocks are coming off the ground during a pull. The art of pulling is you have to transfer the weight to the back tires. You want to be able to pick the front end up of the vehicle to transfer all your power to the back, but there's a fine line there. You can't get too high because you'll lose your draw bar height and it'll start porpoising. And that's kind of what you're looking for, right? You're looking for that balance and you're looking for that kind of perfect distribution of weight for the entire pull. Yes, that's, that's key. I mean, uh, our tractors, you know, we won the national championship this year, but we're not necessarily the most powerful tractor. Uh, we have efficient horsepower, but we can make laps with the best of them. Now, a lot of races go by time. Some races go head to head. In the tractor pulling world, distance is what wins, right? It's all about the distance. Uh, you know, the speed, speed matters because if you don't have enough speed, you're not gonna go that far enough distance. But, you know, uh, it's all about a measured distance uh, in tractor pulling. And most of the time in today's pulling, it's one shot and you're done. Here's our two wheel drive truck that my son campaigns. Your dad Wayne was talking a little bit earlier about winning the championship both in the tractor pull and the modified truck division. That's the winning truck right there? That's it right there. That's uh, It's unique. Our family's been in the sport of pulling as long as anybody uh, and probably active right now. Nobody's been in it as long as we have. I don't know. If we're proud of that uh, but it's uh, it's a testament to a lot of time and effort. Tell me about the um, the uh, the power supply you have under the hood in that. All of our engines are the Brad Anderson block with the Ken Vinny cylinder heads, and uh, all of, all of our engines we run SSI superchargers and MSD mags. This truck here is named after my uncle. He has been in the two wheel drive class since it started and uh, we were lucky enough to gather up. This is his last, tr last truck that he ever pulled, and uh, he passed away way too early on us, and uh, he was a great puller and a great man, and uh, we just named it after him, Big Ed Red. So it was really neat for us to be able to do well with his old truck. Now, there's not much, the only thing the same is the body, but it's still, still Big Ed Red.
Well, just like your dad's uh, tractor has the grill from the original truck on it, that's a great way to honor uh, Big Ed and rest in peace, Big Ed. And I'm, I'm sure he's looking down very proudly seeing you guys are still using his truck at pulls. That's really cool. Here's something else we got in the shop. Uh, this is my son's girlfriend's. Uh, I don't know if you've seen these. These are, it's a different class. It's, in a, it's a mini rod, they call it. And they got the same engines as the trucks and the big tractor, except this thing only weighs 2,000 pounds with the driver. And uh, this class is, you know, we've just dabbled in it for the last year helping them. And uh, it stays here in our shop and my son does a lot of work on it. And uh, it's, a, it's a neat deal. And then uh, we got this project going on here. We're kind of a glutton for punishment. We're, a, we're working on another truck right now. And uh, uh, my son's working on the clutch, getting ready to set the engine in it. And uh, we don't, uh, we'll have it out sometime. Uh, we're not gonna run for a championship with it. It's just, it's something we wanted to have to be able to run around here local. Uh, it will run in the same class with Big Ed Red when we're done. But, you know, we got a lot of people that help us and we want to give them an opportunity to get in a seat to drive and uh, something something like this will be be good for our team now donnie you mentioned uh you know getting out and running around locally are you in an area where you can just drive right by your house and and do some pulls <laughs> not exactly we don't have a test track or anything now, there's a few that compete that do have test tracks but for the most part in pulling there's no testing. You, you get your stuff together and you better have things right when you show up. Hey, uh, Donnie, last question for you. Talk a little bit about your relationship with Optima Batteries and what a great sponsor they are for you guys. Optima has been great for us. They've been with us for three years now on our tractor and uh, they support the two-wheel drive class for Lucas. I mean, they're the title sponsor that we compete for on that. In the tractor is so unique in motorsports that even if you don't like tractor pulling and you come to an event and you walk by something like that, uh, you know, we're going to get heads turned just because of the class that we're in. And hopefully that helps bring exposure to Optima to help them sell batteries because bottom line, they got a great product and we're happy to be associated with them. Well, it's such a cool series. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys back out on the track as soon as possible. Uh, Donnie, I really appreciate you joining us here on High Performance House Call. And Wayne, also, it was great to talk to you guys and get a look around your shop down there at Sullivan Pulling. Best of luck. You guys stay safe. When you do get back out in the dirt, hope you win another championship. If any time you're in Kentucky, come see us. We always well, like you know that. And you know, we, you'd be surprised if people would drop by here and. And, and, and if they stay very long, Donnie puts them to work doing something. I am ready, willing, and able. All right, great talking to you guys. You guys take it easy, all right? All right, have a good day. Thank you.